Here's a totally unsynth related repair. This is my son's little RC car. The problem is it won't go backwards, but it will go forwards. So it was going backwards, then he went against a fence and held the trigger down, and then after that it wouldn't go backwards again. So it's probably going to be the power transistor inside. Let's have a look. Here we are inside. Just as I suspected. I've actually fixed a few of these sorts of cars before, but there's very little to these. There's the receiver circuit, a couple of transistors there for the steering. And they're even marked LR, so there's steering left and right. And these are the two power transistors for forward and reverse. Doesn't actually say what they are, but um, they're 2SD577s, I think they are. So we'll actually replace both of those and you can just replace one if we know which one is the reverse, but I'll pull them out, measure them, and we'll see if they're faulty. So I've pulled out one of the transistors and let's check if it's bung or not. This is a transistor checker, capacitance checker, and they're really cheap, less than $20 on eBay and a must have really. So I've inserted the transistor into the first three spots locked it down and let's just check it. It says it's a diode. So that's not, it means that it's conducting one way and not the other and it hasn't picked up that it's a transistor. So let's see what a good one should look like. So it's a B772P is the transistor, which is I think, let's check that. So there we go, PMP transistor shows you the values, so that's working. So, yep, it's the reverse transistor is blown. So let's swap that out. All right, new transistor sold in, and let's see. There you go. Forward and reverse. So actually, this is just a little 6 volt. Actually, it runs on 4.5 volt or something like that. And um, just with some AA batteries in the bottom. But I've actually connected a lead to it so I can run a lipo cell or a um, nickel metal hydride battery of higher capacity. And if you do that, really, you need to put an aluminium heat sink on these to increase the surface area, which helps them cool down. So some conducting paste and then a big piece of aluminium, which you could actually um, screw in and attach to the back side of them like a fin to help it cool down so um and they fly with faster batteries so there you go done